John Peter Smith was uh, from a small town in Kentucky, and at some point in time, he started down the Mississippi by riverboat and ended up in New Orleans. He was an orphan, came by horseback to Texas, and becomes philanthropic the day he gets here. He, he taught school for a while. He was an attorney and... He came here and helped with the railroad building here. Thank God for John Peter Smith that he had the foresight and vision to give the land and have a place that we could take care of those who were in need. He didn't say just the poor. He didn't say people who were downtrodden. He said, let's take care of our community. He was just somebody that looked for opportunity to do things that would help people in their day-to-day -day lives. And I think it transcended into the development of the hospital and the start of the hospital. He felt that everyone deserved the same right, that they should all have the right to education and healthcare. And that's what this place does. So all of us sort of try to live that mission. I guess the perception in the public is the hardest thing to change. And you know, especially if you're a little bit older and you've lived here for a while, you know, if you have a, an idea of what you think JPS is, it's hard to change your mind. I had a big misconception about JPS when my son was first admitted to the hospital. When I was here as a patient, I thought that, isn't this the place that, that poor people come to? When I became involved with JPS about five and a half years ago as a member of the board, I had a lot of people say, Charlie, why JPS? Why? Why John Peter Smith Hospital? Doesn't he have good insurance? Uh, there's one side that says, uh, I have a job, I have health care. And the community perception has only changed when somebody has to come here. Opening your doors is the beginning. Robert has been turning our ship, if you will. The leadership that was here and starting to make cultural changes in 2009 were absolutely what I wanted to be involved with. Through the years, we watched JPS grow and change. It has dramatically changed. Like Robert Early and his entire staff done a phenomenal job in moving the organization from maybe the image of just being a county hospital to really being a healthcare network. I was here during the previous leadership, and so I have been a, a part and watched that transformation happen. We've seen a tremendous change in the culture. It's contagious, and it's filtered down throughout the hospital, but more than that, it's filtered throughout all levels of the city.